Welcome. Today's message is inspired by my client base um, and what we've been experiencing uh, in my private practice over the last week or so. People are feeling very weary and worn down by external forces that they can't control, that are just around them and they can't maintain their own zen, their own sense of inner peace. And you don't have to be a master to maintain your own sense of peace. It's a journey, folks. You will never master because there's always life challenge. There's always external forces because we're human beings we're having a human experience. We're trying to connect and maintain a mindful practice or be the spiritual beings that we are, but we're in human form. And life is filled with challenge. It doesn't matter what your walk of life is, what your, eth and your ethnicity is. It doesn't matter. We all are burdened in many times in our lives and many situations in life experiences. So today's video is about how do we detach from those forces out of our control and maintain a sense of inner peace in the midst of our own sense of chaos around us, if you will. And I make reference in my blog post at awakenwithlight.com about the surfer who's just overtaken by the wave and then finding it very difficult to get back up and ride the wave of positivity. It's because we get sucked in for, for the best way to describe it and imagine that visualization. It's like you draw everything in close to you. And many times our belief in programming is that's the way life is led. But I actually want you to practice detaching from life. The art of detachment and mindfulness is really truly being that innocent bystander, if you will, watching your life experience play out and you having control over only your role. You can't control anyone else's role but your own in this life movie. And how, and always focusing on what do you desire? Don't get sucked in to all the emotions swirling around um, whatever that life experience that you're feeling weary and overtaken by these external forces. Don't allow yourself to be robbed of your own personal power. So let's do a centering exercise of connecting within, changing the lens by which we see your here and now so that you can better cope with cutting those cords, cutting that attachment and stepping outside the situation and seeing it with as best as you can a sense of neutrality. I use the example of um, you're working for a company that's being bought out and you know all your coworkers are fearful of losing their jobs, losing their pension, worried about, um, you know, uh, finding another job. And then you add all the emotions that begin to happen. People become um, angry, resentment of the higher up in the company, the decisions that are being made, the irritability because um, they're maybe giving, given more work than they're used to having. Um, and now you've got all the emotions not only the speech and the thoughts and the feeling of worry and fear, but then the emotions. So now you feel yourself just caked, gunked. Well, you have to maintain your sense of peace. You have to draw yourself out and say, what do I want here? What do I want? I want a win-win for everyone. I want to, um, you know, and begin to paint that picture for yourself. What does it look like? And maybe you can even come to peace with, if it is time for me to evolve and grow and go to another company that I find one that's in alignment with everything that I enjoyed in this job, you know, and, and focus on what it is you want to take with you, what job you want to create for yourself. Um, 
and begin to create your life experience rather than be a victim to it. So let's close the eyes. Rest in our still space. Feel the breath. And just invite yourself to decompress for just a moment. That's all it takes. We're changing the lens by which we see the world. And each flow of breath is eliciting this deep sense of relaxation in the body. Feel yourself really settling in to here and now. Choose peace. Choose acceptance. Imagine aligning yourself up with what emotions you want to experience. What feeling do you want to have here and now? And if you can't own that feeling, then explore what do I need to release, let go of, in order to invite that in. And I like to, when I do that, I take a deep breath in, inviting this light that I've created as I've centered myself and placed myself in this intention of connection to source energy. And then I blow out. what no longer serves, what I want to let go, I blow it out. I take deep sighs and then I choose peace. I choose here and now acceptance for this moment in time. This is the moment to be lived. And I change the lens by which I see. I want to feel at peace. I want to create a happy ever after ending for myself. I can and will create all that I need. I expect and deserve the best for myself and I am capable of acquiring and achieving it. Whatever you need to tell yourself to shake that which you want to let go, embrace what you want. I am at peace with change. Change is good. I am filled with faith that whenever something changes, something better comes. When one door closes, another one opens. And I am confident and faith-filled to step through that door opening. And I imagine myself on the other side, living life filled with peace, contentment, happiness, prosperity, abundance. I co-create heaven on earth. I release all those negative thoughts 
all those negative vibrational experiences because people live in fear, worry, or insecurity. And I choose to rise above and see everything from a harmonious standpoint. I'm okay with change and uncertainty because I enjoy placing the intention of what it is I desire out into the universe and I have fun watching it line up in my life experience. I create more abundance, prosperity for myself. More doors are opening, more people are coming into my life experience. And I celebrate it. And whatever you need to paint in this moment in time, that's what I want you to do. And then when you're ready, once you feel you own it vibrationally, mentally, emotionally, and physically, you choose to greet your surroundings with a fresh lens, taking back your power, feeling yourself connected and standing in the flow. The flow of the field of infinite potentiality, source as Oprah calls it with a capital S, energy that's all around us. And I'm able to draw and stand in that and not be affected by what's happening around me because I'm going to stay focused, laser focused on what I intend and how I want to experience life. And my speech, my actions, and my emotions will reflect and I'll be a vibrational being emanating this and affecting those around me and maybe those that I that they cannot stand in that light cannot stand in that vibration will not even be around I won't hear feel and be influenced by all that negativity because now I'm strong and in the light and then when you're ready Gently open the eyes to a soft gaze and choose to see the world out of a fresh lens, fresh perspective. I thank you for taking time with me today. And I encourage you to stand in your own sense of inner power and claim your own sense of inner peace. Namaste.